Hey guys, this is uh, Kevlar with TechMeOut.tv. Today I'm going to be going over a little PHP example of a brute force attack uh, over SSH. So we're going to try to gain entry into one of my servers um, remotely. And we're going to do that by writing a PHP script that uses wordless files to it make attempts over and over again until it finds the correct combination. So, <clears throat> uh, this won't be very intuitive, it's just a real quick script just to grasp the concept. Uh, but So here we are on a CentOS box, I've got PHP installed, and uh, we're in the scripts PHP forcer directory. In this directory I've got force.php, which is empty right now. Um, in uh, libs, I've got uh, PHP Seclib, so just Google PHP Seclib, download that library, and go ahead and put it on the server or whatever environment you're in. And then I've got a uh, lists or list directory, which is where we're going to put our word list in. Um, all right, so to get started, um, let's go into force.php. We're going to need to include uh, the PHP seclib library. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got that in libs, PHP seclib, uh, net, SSH2. We're going to want to SSH, so we're going to use that library. All right. Um, to do that, we're going to create a new net SSH2 object. And um, so my server is going to be um, netris.net. Right. That's one of my servers. All right, so here we're going to attempt the SSH connection, and we're going to throw a condition on it to see if it uh, succeeded. This is where the username will go. This is where the password will go. So here we're saying if it fails, uh, we're going to echo login failed. All right. and with a line break or else we succeeded. In which case we should echo login succeeded and exit out. Alright. So let's go ahead and test this out. PHP force.php. Oh. Line 11. Unexpected. Oh, we forgot our semicolon at the exit. So let's run that again. All right, so login failed. So let me pull up another shell window and create an account, a test account for this. Uh, let me log into uh, netris.net. Password will make it ASDF123. ASDF123. Alright, so we've got an account there now to test with. Test hack. And our password was ASDF123. Let's just test to make sure our library works properly. And now we have succeeded login with the new account. But let's assume we don't actually know the credentials. We don't know the username and password, and that's what we're writing the script for. All right, let's create um, some dummy word list files. Um, obviously, we would want, or we would have a longer list of files. We'll make this the user list. And we'll do uh, Bob, Jim, Joe. Then we'll throw test hack in there, which is our actual account. Tim, Kim. all right. And now let's do a pass list. Uh, password one, password pass w two, and then we'll throw the actual password in there, which is ASDF one two three. Blah blow. All right. So we've got all those. So those are our two word lists that we'll use. Uh, Let's go back into force, and we're going to want to load those in. Uh, 
uh, so user list equals we'll use the file get contents function and we'll do uh, it's in list user list all right so now we're going to want to explode that since it's broken by line break we're going to break it into an array using the explode function users equals explode by line break user list all right so now let's just test that out let's uh, print that and make sure that looks good all right that looks good so it's loaded it in and you can see there there's an extra line in our uh, user list oh no there's not it's just an extra array item that's okay it doesn't matter all right so we've got our users loaded in now the concept is we want to test each user with every password we have so our first uh, our first loop should be for the users we're gonna we're gonna choose the we're gonna choose one user and then we're gonna try each password with it go on to the next user try every password with it and that's how this is gonna flow okay so let's do that let's do uh, um, a for each users as user and we're going to want to attempt a login with every single one so we'll wrap that all right let's do some formatting here just for eyes So for each user, we're going to try an SSH attempt. Okay. Now, um, inside of this one is where we're going to want to throw um, the next loop through, which is the. So we're going to want to load the password file for each user. So let's do uh, pass list equals file get contents list pass list. I believe we called it. Same, we're going to want to explode it. Passes equal explode by line break. Pass list for each passes as pass. All right, close this up and correct the formatting. actually throw a couple echo outs in here okay echo attempting username um, attempting username user um, and password pass succeeds it's going to exit out we want to exit with a message though um, so let's just echo out the message echo. username user and password pass so that we have the um, output of the username and password when we find the correct one. Okay, so let's try this out. We did a lot, but let's go ahead and try it. Attempting username Bob and password password1. Login failed. Alright, so it's working. 
So here it's looping through each password with the username Bob. Bob Blow, nope. So we'll let this keep running until it finds the correct username and password. So the idea here is that you would use two very robust dictionary files. The username one you may want to have like a user driven type word list like one that account that has the account root or you know common other usernames that uh, people might use for a server. Um, okay now it's on test hack so it should find the password. Oh and there it was. Login succeeded. I'm not sure why it didn't exit out. Why didn't it exit out? Let's see. Logins. Oh, we forgot to put the exit back in. Exit. Alright. So let's run that again. It should stop when it gets to that. I would hope that you don't use this for malicious purposes. I mean, I made this video for educational purposes, educational for, you know, PHP and uh, how you can use PHP to do uh, nifty things. Um, there it is. Login succeeded. Username, test hack, and password, ASDF123. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll leave this up on the screen for a little while uh, so you can, in case you need the source code up. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed it. If uh, you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section on techmeout.tv.